Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on the technology sector, Facebook and Apple as well. So the bulls buying the dip and this chart pretty much looks the same as the S&P 500 with normal healthy consolidation going on. We've got our new higher low at 52.55. Then we're looking at 52.27 and 52.17 every time we form a base and see a move to the upside that's a new higher low to be watching in terms of resistance 52.86 and 52.87 a little bit of a double top the past two days and if the bulls can get through those levels 53.05 would be the next resistance from there the weekly time frame we're stalling out a little bit but it's only because we've traded one day out of five this week and it is a potential bearish reversal spinning top candlestick yesterday but i should say last week but unless we confirm that by breaking 5227, breaking some support levels and seeing a solid red week, the bulls are holding on just fine right now. And again, the volume is not indicating anything more than normal healthy consolidation. We're not going to be naive and bury our heads in the sand and say that the bulls are in full control no matter what. But until we see proof from the bears that they have some strength, we are looking at this as normal healthy consolidation. Apple bulls responding. Day two, it's, a, it's pretty much the exact same chart. A little bit of a different candlestick today, but it's normal healthy consolidation. That's the theme here. 138.59, 138.60, bulls held the low of Friday by one penny, and then they bought that dip. Resistance is 139.77, 83, and then up to the all-time high of 140.28. So we're right on the verge of that all-time high if the bulls get some momentum to the upside, and they just want to continue holding these exponential moving average supports, which they have done very well for the past five weeks in a row. Weekly time frame, not much going on this week so far. A very strong close last week. We lost the upper Bollinger Band again. No surprise there as it is ascending so rapidly. No red flags on the daily nor the weekly time frame at this point. Facebook bulls, new all-time high. Facebook this morning was very clearly a lead bull, and we saw that upside when the market bulls showed up. It really gave some extra juice to the bulls, and we headed up towards that all-time high. So we are continuing to form higher lows, higher highs, very contained between exponential daily support and upper Bollinger Band resistance. Right now I'm looking at support of 134.75, 136.08, and resistance is just that all-time high of 137.83, and we'll look at 138 psychological after that. So the bulls still in full control, higher lows and higher highs very clearly the trend, and we'll watch to see if the technology sector continues to the upside. Today we saw the financial sector a lot weaker than the technology sector, so it was the tech sector that was holding the S&P 500 bulls up, and then we saw some rally towards the end of the day with the strong close. So we'll see if that keeps up into tomorrow. Certainly the strongest sector that I'm currently watching, and we will check back in tomorrow after the close. I'll see you then.